Time to check in now with TJ Del Santo for more on this precipitation that's headed our way later today. What's the latest, TJ? And we are looking at uh, some very light precipitation here and there, mainly along the coastline. Let's take a look at what's going on right now. We are going to be seeing it kind of expanding in coverage throughout the course of the morning, and it's going to change from a light rain over to all snow throughout the morning. And that's why we have a winter weather advisory in effect for uh, all of Rhode Island, except for Block Island, nearby Connecticut and uh, south coast of Massachusetts, southern Bristol County. You're under that winter weather advisory from 7 a.m until 7 p.m. this evening. Looking at the live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar and you can see we've got some green along the south coast. It might actually be a little bit of mixing uh, here and there in parts of westerly. It doesn't look like it's a uh, very heavy precipitation right now. Our live city cam picture looking on off to the west from Pro uh, from downtown Providence and you can see there's uh, some really good visibility. There's nothing out there right now. If you're headed out the door at the moment, don't expect to find any weather related problems uh, in the Providence metro area. It could just be a little bit of light rain or light snow down there in Westerly and that's about it. Temperatures very mild. This is the, the real problem right, right now. We've got 39 degrees in Providence, 39 in Fall River, 38 degrees in Newport. Not a problem uh, unless you're looking for, for snow as we are going to be seeing the snow eventually develop, but the temperatures are going to be a little too mild for it to uh, really collect maybe until late morning and into the early afternoon. Another case in point point. East Bay Retirement Living, 39 degrees over there on the Wampanoag Trail. I stepped out this morning and the ground was still muddy, so it's still quite mild out there. The ground isn't quite cold enough for anything to really be sticking just yet. I think that will be changing a little bit later in the day, though. We have a, a light wind tending from the northeast at around three miles an hour. Now, the satellite radar picture showing the precipitation off to our south and west. It's beginning to work its way across New York City right now, where it's been raining throughout much of the morning. It looks like it's changing over to a little bit of snow as colder air is working its way into southern New England at the uh, throughout the lower levels of the atmosphere. Temperatures though from Boston to Providence to New York and Philadelphia, very mild and even not terribly cold up there in Albany, New York, only about 30 degrees. So it's going to take a little while for the colder air to work its way in to our region. And as a result, it's going to take a little while for it to accumulate. That's why we're not really going for big accumulations here. Let's take a look at your future cast starting you off at 9 a.m. this morning. We're looking at some snow overspreading the area, the Cape, maybe still a little bit of rain. Here we are around noontime. We're still covering in blue, which is an indication that we are anticipating some snow late morning through the afternoon, and then it begins to kind of fall apart after about three o'clock or so. The evening commute, while there could be some snow on, on, on some of the roadways at that time, I think the snow itself will be uh, stopping across the area. Then we'll be looking at clearing skies during the overnight, maybe a couple of uh, isolated snow showers over in southeastern Mass. Tomorrow looks to be bright and sunny. Problem is, we've got a storm number two this week arriving uh, tomorrow night and into the daytime on Wednesday. So your morning commute, light snow and rain for the uh, daytime. Here's how it all breaks down. Lighter snow turning to a moderate snow late morning, early afternoon, then coming to an end after about 3 p.m. One, maybe up to three inches in spots across Rhode Island and nearby Massachusetts, a little bit less in some of the northern suburbs. Here's your seven day future cast expecting sunshine tomorrow, looking at a mix on Wednesday, dry Thursday, maybe another storm over the weekend on Sunday. Let's get a look now at that morning.